working for you. Fox 2 News at 6 starts now. All right, everybody, welcome to the HD Show. We're not on television. We're right here on FoxCityDetroit.com on our Facebook page uh, talking everything that uh, is headlining the news, yeah. weather, sports, all of it. Yeah, and it is a busy day here in Michigan, and we have a lot to get to. Um, I'm Dave Spencer, and this is Hillary Golston, so uh, I guess let's jump right in. Yeah, former President Donald Trump set to speak in Waterford in just about an hour. His supporters have been lining up in that city uh, at the airport right now, and that's where we find Fox 2's Gordon Edwards joining us live there, and it looks like things are, are well underway there. It looks rowdy, in fact. I gotta share with you, that one's going Yeah, absolutely, a Dave, Hillary, it is a Let's packed, go house here at this airport hangar in Waterford Township and I can tell you this we just saw a large jet go by and people automatically started screaming because they're thinking right that it's former President Donald J Listen, Trump we do not know for sure but I can tell you as I said earlier it's packed here it is wall to wall packed there are hundreds of people sitting closer to the stage behind them are hundreds of people lined up I've been out here for a few hours and we've already heard a few speakers people talking about of course inflation which is top of mind for a lot of people also talking about UAW and the unions and the situation there but also talking about jobs another something that a number of voters I spoke with talked about that but many of them are here all of them are here for the seven o'clock slot which is for former president Donald Trump he is that is when he's scheduled to take the stage behind me and that is what everyone hears to see him and see what he's going to talk about we know he was in Pennsylvania earlier so happiness. apparently he's supposed and to be here and he is scheduled to come at seven I know I've said that but we're just hoping that that ideas. is exactly what happens again this it is wall to wall packed here a lot of people excited to see him and hear what he's gonna say and a lot of voters of telling time. us that their main focus is on this. November hoping that he years? is the very oh, next video? president so we're gonna have all of that for you and highlights of what he says or in the 10 o'clock show for now reporting live here in Waterford Township Lauren Edwards Fox 2 News News. Yeah, Lauren, I know it's very loud in there. I don't know if you can hear me, but I was wondering, this is one of his first appearances since the judge ordered that he pay hundreds of millions of dollars in New York. Have uh, voters uh, referenced that at all or given their opinions? Yeah, you know, a lot of them weren't even talking about that, and I was able to hear you just a little bit, Dave. A lot of them weren't talking about that. A lot of them honestly are just focused on November and getting him reelected. That's what so many people were saying. They just are focused ahead, and they just want him to win the election, not even just the one in 10 days, because we are in a, in a primaries election right now, which people can go out and vote, but what the one thing they were talking about was November. Yeah, thank you, Lauren, for that, and we'll look for your report live at 10 o'clock. And as she mentioned, uh, early voting, that's that's happening. Mm -hmm. Big day in Michigan. Polls are open for the start of that. It's a first in this state, as a matter of fact. Yeah, every Michigan voter has the option to cast a ballot in person at an early voting site in their area. Fox 2's Erica Francis has that story. I voted. Leslie Giles exercising her right to vote Saturday, one of the first to cast her ballot at Southfield City Hall. Smooth as silk, and that's how we want it to be. For the 2024 presidential primary, voters choose which candidates they'd like to see on the November ballot. Giles said she never misses an election, and this one is important. I really hope they get a hold of the border. That's, that situation is kind of out of hand, so I really do hope they get that in, um, in control. I just want just peace, pretty much. I mean, it's just chaotic out here in the world, so um, I know it's going to take a lot. Polls open from 8.30 to 4.30 Saturday the 17th through February the 25th. The idea that we can vote in person for nine days ahead of Election Day gives us the, the flexibility to be able to get it done and gives everybody the opportunity to vote. Michigan embracing new options for voters, making voting more accessible and convenient. The best part about early voting, no lines. This is a chance to come when you don't have to worry about getting to work or the kids off to school, and you can just come in and take care of your um, voting process. Michigan voters signing off on a constitutional amendment in November of 2022 that gives voters the right to vote early and in person at early voting sites before statewide and federal elections. We've seen other states do it, and so now it's our turn. Cities must now offer at least nine days of early voting. Early voting will end on the Sunday before 
before the presidential primary election that will be held in Michigan on February the 27th. Voting just in itself is the, an amazing process. I just want to take advantage of it. Early voting ballots will be counted after 8 p.m. on Election Day, along with absentee ballots and ballots cast that day. To vote early, you can find your city's location and hours on our website, fox2detroit.com. In Southfield, Erica Francis, Fox 2 News. Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson taking advantage of early voting today as she casted her ballot at the Northwest Activity Center in Detroit. Our crew was able to catch up with her after voting. It's really exciting. I mean, it's it's an election day. It feels like an election day. This is an opportunity for Michigan and for Detroit and for citizens all around our state to show our strength, to show our power through the number of citizens who are engaged and paying attention now. The eyes of the nation will be on Michigan and Michigan voters will influence, if not decide, the presidential election this year. And people can vote at the Northwest Activity Center from 9 to 5 every day from now until the 25th. And Detroit City Clerk Janice Winfrey doing pretty much the same thing as Secretary Benson, encouraging voters to cast their ballots early. 14 early voting sites are open for the next nine consecutive days from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the city of Detroit. It's always important that you vote in your primary elections. I know oftentimes people think that primaries aren't as important as the general. Nothing could be further from the truth. If you want your candidate to make it to the general, you have to vote in the primary. So it's super important that our voters exercise their right to vote. In all elections, registered voters in Michigan can also vote before election day using an absentee ballot. This is known as no excuse absentee voting. To some other news now, a teenager was found shot and killed at a hotel in Canton and police say they found the suspect and arrested him at a nearby hospital. This all happened at the Comfort Suites on Haggerty Road and Ford Road at around 930 Friday night. Police say a 19 year old woman was shot. Police are still looking into the reasons why the suspect, according to police, was then found at a hospital getting treated for injuries from what police describe as a pedestrian accident. The Canton police are asking anyone with information to give them a call to help them piece this shooting together. It's chillier today than I feel like it's been in a while. Yeah. I mean, when I was outside just a moment ago, I thought, oh, I don't really need my coat. Just grab some from the car. <laughs> yeah. No, it's yeah. nippy. We got used to that uh, and spoiled with that warmer weather. Looking outside, it looked nice. So it was deceiving, but that wind, Stephanie Mead, is, uh, is a real deal thing. Yeah, it, it cuts right through you. So we're looking at wind chill factors right now, mainly in the teens. I feel like temperatures are what you dress according to, and those numbers are going to remain low tonight. But we are seeing sunshine with that. So we're rounding out the day on a bright note. Mount Clemens right now seeing some sunshine, maybe a little bit of cloud cover and any snow and accumulating snow we saw early this morning now gone and that we're going to continue to see melting over the next couple of days just because our numbers will start to trend a bit more milder. We're in the low 20s right now for a lot of spots. 21 Pontiac, 20 Howell. Likewise, for those out near Lansing, feel like temps in the single digits for a lot of spots. We are starting to see our snow chances wind down, so not necessarily seeing anything too widespread like what we saw this morning. I think our lake effect snow showers too will remain very minimal over the next couple of days as well before our next system arrives by the end of next week. So it does look a little bit better. 20 tonight for an overnight low, still cloudy and breezy. Feel like temps early tomorrow morning in the mid to lower teens. Highs tomorrow reach the upper 30s. Should be a partly to mostly cloudy day. Temperatures are going to remain cold and then our next chance for rain, potentially a little bit of snow too, arrives by the end of the week. We are possibly looking at a light wintry mix too by the end of the week as well. So it just kind of depends on temperatures. But Right now, milder stretch out ahead of us Tuesday into Wednesday. Then our next system arrives by the end of the week. It's always a good idea to download the weather app. You can always get the latest forecast by checking the Fox 2 weather app. Download it for free in the App Store or in Google Play. Over to you guys. All right, thanks, Stephanie. And it was cold out there, as you just uh, heard her say. The wind really cutting straight through people. And still, there were hundreds on the streets for the yearly Cupid Undie Run. Many right. of the men <laughs> ran with just their underwear, a brave act in this uh, very frigid temperatures. Uh, the women also getting in on the fun running in bikinis. Today's event was all about raising money to find a cure for neurofibromatosis. Now, this is a condition that affects some 300,000 Piro people. Neurofibromatosis are a group of genetic disorders that cause tumors to 
form on nerve tissue. These tumors can develop anywhere in the nervous system, including the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. We're here for the children and to find a cure for neurofibromatosis. This is a disease that affects numerous kids. And the money raised goes to the Children's Tumor Foundation. The run also took place in several other cities across the country, including Boston and the nation's capital. A lot of hearty souls there. Another weekend, and it was another chance for the city of Detroit to get all hyped up for the upcoming NFL draft. It's part of the NFL's On the Clock Tour, an event put on by the city of Detroit and Visit Detroit, a tourism uh, organization there. This weekend, the event was held at the Northwest Activities Center on Myers Road. Four hours packed with kids' games, inflatables, a mock draft, face painting, and more, all available to kids of all ages, all for free. While every stop on the tour offers a unique experience for neighbors to come see, the On the Clock Tour has a wide variety of football-themed activities for the entire family to enjoy. It is a big, big deal. It's going to bring hundreds of millions of dollars into the city, into the businesses here, um, through food, through um, hotels, just everything. This all sounds familiar. This is the fourth stop on the On the Clock Tour. In case you were wondering what the name refers to, it's an actual NFL draft. Each team is given just a couple of minutes to draft a player, hence being on the clock. There will be four more chances to take part before the actual draft in Detroit in April, an event we're all looking forward to yeah. now that football is over in Detroit. Yeah, yeah. a lot of people uh, I'm sure looking forward to that and it's yeah. cool that they've got all these events uh, across town. All right, well that's gonna do it for us right sure now. Is. We're gonna see you back here at 10 o'clock and I think we're gonna be on time, so that's good news Fingers for crossed. us. Yes. We look forward to seeing you tonight and until then, have a great evening. Goodbye.